Hello, my name is Abe. Welcome back to Dead Cells BC5 warm-up runs. I don't believe that the cursed update here has gotten an update since the last time we played. I think it is still normal game here. Uh, I don't think it's out yet. And so we're just going to play another warm-up run of Dead Cells BC5 and continuously wait for this cursed update to actually hit the main branch of the game. I understand that uh, the hammer and nail here, Misericord, did get changed slightly. I think now it has a crit condition, but it only gives you curse when you don't crit. Like, the crit condition is under 50% health, so if something is over 50% 50, 50 health, you'll get cursed when you hit them. If you're under that, you won't get cursed. And I think that that's changed from how it was where every hit would curse you potentially, so you had to use it for like lethal blows only and it was kind of garbage. But I think another reason for that change is maybe to stop infinite cursed builds. Uh, I'm not entirely certain. I don't quite understand it myself. Anyways, we're gonna roll survival here, you know, just talking about it, but also, you know what, we've got Bonk, we've got Whistle, we've got Death Orb. Everything here synergizes with survival. It's kind of exactly what we're looking for. Does the game feel loud today? It might feel a little loud. I'll take damage from projectiles being, being reduced. <laughs> Let me actually go into the sound real quick and I'll crank it down one nodule. I feel like it might be a little, a little loud today. Maybe my ears are just a little bit sensitive. I'm not a fan of the build that we have here. I'm not a fan of Ice Shock, I think, or Ice Shard, whatever that's freaking called now. I think it's pretty bad. Uh, I know that, you know, sure, there's builds that you can do that'll make it work. That's the wrong button. But I don't think it's particularly good. I think that I would much rather have pretty much anything else. The legendary one makes it bounce, but you can still only hit an enemy with one of the ice shards at a time. So I feel like, yeah, it's a cannon. I feel like it's a little bit kind of just underwhelming. It doesn't do a lot of damage. It's not supposed to do damage. It's supposed to chill. But even the chilling seems underwhelming. All right. Did I actually, yeah, I did put down the cannon. It just feels like I didn't. Now, there's probably some synergies with the, oh, now we gotta make a decision here. Well, you won't take it. There's probably some synergies with the ice shock where maybe you can fire it off and you know, Frostbite will mean that enemies take a little bit of DOT from it, but I'm not a fan of Frostbite because I'm not a fan of in how BC4 and 5, everything teleports. I think that that will probably just get you killed. You know what? We're just gonna do a very like old fashioned run here. Okay, helps if I can, <laughs> Jesus. Helps if I can actually, you know, hit the enemy more than once per per cycle here. Um, but, you know, the baseball bat now has infinite rooting. We're pretty happy with how this has turned out, I think. This is a, I guess, cheesy build. It's a little cheesy, but, you know, we'll, um... Oh, I don't mind a little cheese. <laughs> oh, at least we got our health back. Oh. Look, I'm not the best Dead Cells player, okay? I also, I need a, this is my warm-up run for the day. Well, it's my warm-up warm -up run for the week, really. I gotta remember how to actually play this game. By the way, Seagus Jr., welcome, how are you doing? You're tired as usual, but otherwise, all right. I hope that you are not tired due to a a, like being overworked or overworked or stressed or anything. I hope you're you're having a nice relaxing evening at the very least. Um, I think we're pretty much done. Hank Bob says ice shards are not good. Sometimes it's fun to do a run with them, making something bad kind of work. I just don't know if there's a way to make them work. I guess maybe uh, there's the the slow trap 
with survival, so maybe you can use the slow trap to slowly extend slow and then make it turn into a freezing enabler, but when you freeze an enemy and then you hit them, they just unfreeze anyways, and you have to really kind of build around freezing damage bonuses if you're going to make that work, I think. I think I just think that slow and freeze is one of the least useful synergies. It's so inconsistent. I should make a Dead Cells tips and tricks video for YouTube, says disposable account. Yeah, everyone will will chime in about how I'm wrong. <laughs> Their new new welcome, been in the mood for Nuclear Throne after seeing Abe play it, but I suck. I only rarely reach loops. I mean, I, uh, I, I used to suck. I, I have been liking the Nuclear Throne lately. I'm glad, Der Nunu, that you asked me to play it again because I really enjoy Nuclear Throne. I feel like, we're gonna go to the castle, I think. I feel like I previously stopped playing Nuclear Throne because I was a little bit I mean, I'll just say I was a little bit gungeoned out. Nuclear Throne and Gungeon have kind of similar gameplay where it's a top-down perspective, kind of like a twin-stick shooter. You are dodging enemies and... I prefer baseball bat. Dodging enemies and, you know, shooting your guns around. I'd say Monolith probably shares more gameplay, but, you know, I was a little bit out of uh, of the mood. Now, not so much. Now I'm definitely, I think, in the mood for a little bit of Nuclear Throne. And I keep teasing it like a, a carrot in front of a horse. One of these days, I'll come back and I'll, I'll play some more Enter the Gungeon. Maybe even sooner rather than later. You never know. But it was really fun to go back and play some Nuclear Throne the other day. So, Boo Boo, thank you for the raid as well. Hello, how are you doing today, King? My liege. <laughs> My liege. Ice Shard Pyrotechnic is kind of spicy. Why, why is, are you saying that's a good thing or a bad thing? I think it's a bad thing, right? Because when you burn an enemy, they don't get slowed anymore in theory. So like, it's kind of a little anti-synergy, which is another reason why I don't like the uh, slow and frost as a mechanic in Dead Cells. Because when you start to have frost and Lots of high level gear. All of your gear tends to have burn on it at some point. Enemies burn when they die. It's kind of hard to get away from that sometimes. If you have ranged equipment, you're going to have a lot of equipment that's like shots leave a trail of flames. And at that point, you're not going to get the freezing. Everything's going to be on fire. I'd much rather have fire as a damage bonus than frost. Frost is pretty bad control. This gives us a little bit more health, but we lose the jump, so I'm just gonna not bother with the micromanagement of stats on scrolls. Ba -dum -bum -bum. I never see that one. Ah, oh, there it is. I was wondering, like, which one of these passageways has the shortcut? And it's this one. It's the one that just spikes. <laughs> You can just roll through it. Uh, you know, I really like the castle outskirts music. Glad to be here. So Boo Boo says, Abe, I'm your biggest Slay the Spire fan. I've been having a lot of fun with Spire lately, too. We played um, another collector run the other day and then a, a, a Sneko run, and that was, a, that was really good. Kind of want to play more at some point. I'm not going to risk walking onto the spikes. I feel like if I'm going to be playing Spire, though, it's not going to be the base game. It's going to be like a modded game because I've already played, you know, 8 million hours of that. Kind of like me with, uh, like, FTL. If I'm going to play FTL, I'm going to play... I'm going to play, like, a multiverse mod. Or Are there other good FTL mods that are good on content? Collector? Sneko? Oh, uh, so the downfall is a mod for Slay the Spire that means you get to play as the bad guys. You play as the bosses and whatnot, and it's actually kind of a lot of fun. The mechanics are relatively well defined, and they're fun. They're, sometimes they're overpowered, but that's fun. 
to get like an overpowered combination. It doesn't have to be so like intensely balanced. All right, I'm starting to get back into the swing of uh, Dead Cells as well. I think it took me a minute, but I'm starting to speed up. I know that the malaise is high, but I'm kind of just acknowledging that and just letting it happen. You're the bad guy, you enter the tower and slay its denizens. Yeah, I mean, here's the thing. The Empire did nothing wrong and also in Slay the Spire, you're the bad guy. Jedis are evil. How did that not kill you? That will. <laughs> This is a very, very classical Dead Cells run here with just bonking all the time, but the bonking is like the best build. It really, it really is. Uh, whatever our first bosses should get obliterated by this too. Uh, can you, can you root death? Because if you can root death, come on, climb, then maybe we should actually go fight death and try to flawless him. I don't know. Didn't they blow up a planet? How is that different from, uh, you know, our current political uh, situations? Oh, snap! <laughs> oh. There are so many vampire bats in here. It's almost like this is a freaking uh, evil castle or something. I like when he just stops his jetpacking. He's like, okay, I'll wait. Captain Edition was the, the premier mod FTL, or uh, Multiverse has surpassed it for FTL. I, um, I never did play Captain's Edition. I, rem I remember, I think, looking at it once a long time ago and then being like, eh, it doesn't seem like it adds enough content for me to be, uh, Super interested in it. I don't know why I decided to play multiverse. I guess it was I was just like I want to play some FTL, but the game needs an update. I think I need a reason to come back to it, and that gave me a reason to come back to it. I think it was suggested as well, like hey, I think you should play this. So I did. We can see about upgrading. All right, we're gonna get nothing. We'll save our money and then upgrade later, I guess. Prison is infected. I hate it, but we'll do it. Dun -dun -dun. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Oh, I gotcha. I forget just how much damage the axe does. It's like exceptionally surprising that this is still able to just absolutely obliterate everything on its own. Whoa, what? <laughs> okay, hold on. I've got an alt tab on that one and make a note of that. That was hilarious. <laughs> that enemy went through the freaking wall. I don't think I've ever seen them go through wall. I've seen them go through the dancers. I've seen them go through dodge rolly bits where you had to roll through it as like a shortcut path. I don't think I've ever seen one just literally glitch through the wall before. That's impressive. That requires some serious dedication and some, you know, skills. I'm not that agile, I couldn't do that. I'm not getting my um, wall run correct. New controller and all that. Or maybe it's because it's an, a new old controller. I'm just borrowing this from someone. <laughs> I need to, uh, I need to get my, my own personal brand of, uh, you know, sticky grease on the buttons so that they, uh, they work properly, right? There you go. 
So first hit we took on the floor. Usually on this floor, I kind of suck. So honestly, that feels kind of good. New malaise mechanic, no clipping enemies. I mean, that kind of works already. They, they teleport. That's not really no clipping, but it's similar. You're what? You're I gotta get my like my hand grease all over the controller so that it responds to my like flicking, you know? The speedrunning mechanic they don't want you to know about. Dun 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 dun. I think one of the because my wall runs. I did I did like I I cleaned the controller off, but I think that. I cleaned it too well. Like the the B button is really stick, uh, not sticky, but like it's not, uh, it, it's catching on my finger a little bit, so I can't do my normal wall run. <laughs> That's it's so funny to me that like I'm I'm actually being serious about this. I'm not I'm not joking. Like with a little bit of use, you kind of like wear it down a little bit, and uh, you know the the oil from your hand will kind of like just make the surface a little bit less, less sticky. <laughs> you know, anything for that edge, you know, anything, if I can shave a millisecond off of this time, dude, freaking world record, that's it, that's all you need. <laughs> Thought you were talking about some other bodily product. Get your minds out of the gutter, chat. Ah, uh, you don't deserve me. Uh, are we done? You know, I'm gonna go grab, grab that carrot. It's a bit of a walk. Eh, I'm still gonna do it. I think we do have... No, we don't have anything that had bonus damage at max health. Maybe we used to, but I'll still go grab it. Our hive mind is at home in the gutter. Should have known. Gutter people. Mmm, carrot. I've got carrots in the fridge. I should probably eat them before they start to go bad. I love carrots. I've got to be really, like, hard about clicking the button to do the wall run. And also the fall, because it's the same button press. B-A, B-A, B-A. Um, prison. He didn't say bodily, to be fair. Thank you! <laughs> hey, John, how you doing? Ahem. <clears throat> okay. Um, cluster bomb. Greed shield. <laughs> you know, I actually feel like the cluster bomb is not a bad idea here. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm also losing my voice, apparently. I, I think that we're going to do a lot of damage to single targets. I don't think we need the cluster grenade for that. I think what we need is something that can deal with like a whole bunch of rats. Because the, bo the boy's axe is a little slow. The boy's axe also works with the ammo mutation. So we could take ammo and then we can throw two axes if we really want to. Something to consider. Uh, otherwise, what are we going for? Uh, we just got rid of our turret, so we're not going to take support. Uh, we could go for thrown objects, do more damage. Armadillo, uh, not armad. We could go for armadillo pack, actually. I do have a shield. Uh, we could also go for acrobatic pack, find something like a Medusa head. That's always pretty good. Networking is not very good. Point blank is not very good. Support's not very good here, although if we get another turret replacement, we'll take it. Gastronomy is okay. Uh, we don't have to take it now. Kill Rhythm, we don't need because we have a fast weapon, Necromancy, for a little bit of healing. That would help keep the malaise down. Oh, I know, Chaunt. I just choose to read chat the way that I... <laughs> that supports my point of view. <laughs> That's why sometimes I ignore messages and uh, read things out of context. I'm the streamer. I have to be right. I forget, does does what doesn't kill me work with armadillo pack? When you do a dodge roll parry, do you get health? I don't know, I don't think so. 
Uh, you know, it is the cursed biome. We could go for damned vigor. So if we get cursed, we don't die. This is the corrupted prison, which is the harder of the biomes because you have the uh, the blobs and the birds, and they they very much suck. Actually, you also have the inquisitors, which really sucks. You've got all difficult garbage enemies. <laughs> um. <clears throat> Probably just take like a damned bigger. I mean, we can just reroll the mutations later, right? Uh, wish to be combo. Actually, you know, combo would combo would work. Yeah, it's super unnecessary though, but it would do it. Oh, but what do we care? We're not going to be rolling brutality. It's a fast weapon though. I gotta sneeze. Give me a second. I've been doing some house cleaning. I took all the boxes out of my closet. I didn't realize I have seven computer monitors. They, they all work. They're just the old ones, the ones that I had previously. I have one of them that's like displays 800 by 600 resolution. And I'm like, wow, that's an old monitor. It's a good one, though. It's like a color sink or something. I think it was originally my dad's, <laughs> but it's a, it's apparently a very good monitor. It's just freaking teeny tiny. Uh, I, sorry, I'm taking way too much time for this. Just take like, take, uh, take damn bigger and then move. I spend way too much time looking at those when I don't know what to take. Seven, that's one too many. I had the same reaction once when uh, we had a, a very good friend of, uh, of me and Chris's uh, come over for like a Halloween like eight years ago or something. And uh, I got a little bit tipsy and got to talking very late at night. And I learned that this friend, she owned 13 birds, 13 birds. And I just thought to myself, 13? That's far too many. One would be enough. Like birds are not the uh, the most clean of animals. She earned, she owned thirteen birds, and I just couldn't help but think, like, really? It's a lot of birds. Ah. Uh. Okay. There's curse. There we go. First cleansed. Gotta be a little bit careful about these locations. That guy's gonna teleport to me. If we get a little closer to him. It's exactly what I want, actually. Oh, stop it. There we go. Oh, he's uh, guarded. As soon as that runs out, though, he should teleport. No, he's not teleporting. That's very strange. Normally he's, oh, you're gonna teleport. Normally that dude is all about trying to kill you and launch spirits at you. The fact that he didn't was very surprising. That's a, our legendary. Very bad time to get it, but you know. That's bad, that's bad, I forgot about that mechanic. What's the mechanic? Uh, the mechanic is when you try to... Uh, dodge a bird by climbing down the chain, their bodies just block you from climbing down the chain. The chain? The chain! McChain! Dude, I cannot do the wall running, I swear I'm trying. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Ugh, I, I, I gotta take a minute and breathe. Does phaser work with the... 
Yes, it does. This might be the one time where we'll, we'll, I'll actually take it. The phaser works. Oh no, there's a two of them. Okay, hold on. So the phaser works. That's gonna hurt. Uh, with the, you dick. Thank you. Phaser works with the uh, baseball bat. Sorry, I'm I'm just like I'm panicking. I'm freaking out. There's so much curse happening all over the place. You got the freaking protectors keeping everyone very healthy and wealthy and wise. Ice will here welcome new mod. No, this is the beta for the cursed update, which will be coming out at some point. Um, I hope in 2023, but I suppose they could delay it. It is difficult because you get these cursed biomes that we're currently in right now. You can see the, the skull on the world map at the top. Uh, there's cursed enemies which can curse you. So now I have to deal with cursed enemies that can curse me, which means that I could die in one hit just from dudes. And so it's uh, it's a little difficult, but we're we're trying to, to work through it. Doesn't help that I also have a lot of malaise. That was very well done. Okay. God dang it. Okay. Uh, poison is no effect on you. Damage from projectiles reduced. I mean, I'll take it. You know, I guess the thing about the the phaser is that it does recharge quickly and it does enable a lot of synergies, right? So what we should do, I don't know what it does with like the plus damage stats. We should test that out. But what we should do is maybe take the mutation that means that if you hit a rooted enemy, you get cooldowns. That way that'll happen. You freaking jerk. That way that'll happen whenever we get uh, a kill with it. Or rather, just a hit with it. All right, there's one enemy remaining, which means we're gonna leave the floor cursed, which kind of sucks, but what are you gonna do? Uh, there's also an explosive crossbow, which I have to look at because it's an explosive crossbow. Stuns the victim on the primary shot, plus 20% damage bonus. I mean, we, we're rolling boy's axe bat. The damage is already higher than the level seven crossbow, but I, I love the crossbows. We could take it and go kill Rhythm. You know what? We haven't done a baseball bat run in a while, I think. Maybe we'll try it out here. Well, I don't see the bonus floor room, so we'll uh, probably just leave. Not like I really had too much time to, to really consider my options. <laughs> It was a little ridiculous. I'm not even gonna buy from this dude because if it's a mimic, it's gonna kill me. What I will do though is go kill this one enemy and get my curse a little bit lower because, uh, well, we need to, we're cursed because there was a cursed enemy at the end of the hallway. It's just a rat. That dirty rat. There's nothing else on the, yeah, there's nothing else, which is unfortunate. <clears throat> Ice Will here says, I play PlayStation. I've heard that the <clears throat> current version of consoles is actually on par with PC. So hopefully that if this update gets released at some point, it's not gonna be too long until console players can suffer as well. I think that the mobile version is the one that's like very much behind because you've got to do a lot, of, a lot more development work to actually get the mobile version out, right? I think. 
Ah, uh, yeah, I don't see it, so I, I'm, I'm just gonna go. I'm trying to look for it, but this stuff I already checked because there wasn't, there wasn't a lot of chaos over here, even though I was actually cursed. <laughs> My problem with Curse isn't that it's hard, it's just that it's surprising when it's on enemies that can teleport. Where are we going? We're gonna go to the Ramparts. It's another Curse location. We can probably go sewers and then just fight the Watcher, I guess. We can do that. Yeah, it's different devs doing the mobile version because you, you need people who are experts, pretty much. Mobile versions are hard. Don't get poisoned, thank you. Sometimes there's a poison pool at the bottom of the drop. If that killed you, it would be hilarious dying in the the safe room. Um. All right, well, we've got disengagement and damned vigor. We don't need both, but we have them. I'm gonna take gas. I wanna stack a damage bonus for the boss. Mmm. Connie's right, we are immune to poison, so we wouldn't die anyway. Poison has no effect on you. Would you look at that? It does slow us down a little bit, but... There you go, curse lifted. Now we can be a little bit more reckless. Root, not very effective on that enemy, but it does, it's a very good way of showcasing how the boy's axe work and then it's repeated root applications. Uh, that might be a good amulet to keep because it has the uh, wee, extra, uh, extra jumps on it and you still get three stats, but it's the wrong stats, isn't it? You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna not do this room. I like saving a door. Oh, there's not cursed enemies. We don't have to save the door. I mean, it's still good to save it, but it's less important. There's food. We love it. Whoa, ho ho. Come back. Nah. I refuse. Nah, no. Hold on, how do we, there we go. No! Where am I, okay, you know what? Just die, thank you. Sometimes you just need a, a cluster grenade to just say kill everything. Ah. <laughs> oh. Ashen Ran, hello. I don't know if I said hi. I don't think I did. Taco Sunday, hello as well. How many hours do you have? How long did you first five pass take? Um, I don't know, but I think the first time I did it was probably recorded, so it should be up on YouTube in the playlist somewhere. Learning about the, uh, the collector learning how to actually uh, kill him, going to the biome and everything. Hold on, how do we... Uh, uh, uh. Oh, I have an extra jump on this amulet. I could have just... No, I don't have an extra jump on this amulet. We got rid of that. There we go. Ooh, man, this is actually pretty tough. Uh, I, I feel like I like this. This could replace the cluster grenade and then we'd have a little bit of like AOE killing. Oh man, excuse me. When I cleaned the closet, it um, kicked up a lot of dust. I'm allergic to dust, I think, so. I think we're gonna do a barricade. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> you freaking exploded. Okay, well I'm gonna keep the... Uh... I'm gonna keep this for a second. We need to charge electrodynamics. I, I like electrodynamics and I think it's actually gonna be a little bit better than the cluster grenade because we can just run through the enemies and then they'll die without having to wait for the, the long cooldown. But I do need to charge electro. It's not gonna work with the other item. So there's one. You 
You know, oil into burn. It's a it's a match made in heaven. There we go. Now we've got the full Monty. <clears throat> I sound a little stuffed up today. I hope not. That's why I don't clean, says it's a boo boo. I, uh, just whenever I clean, I have like a whole day of just being very, very sneezy. I forgot about this. We have the meat skewer. Meat skewer is a good weapon. Nothing that we want to use now, I think, but, you know, let's say we later go and fight the scarecrow. We could just use the meat skewer against him. That would work pretty well. Man, our malaise is still high. I'd love to find a shop, a food shop. We're gonna lose, when you uh, defeat bosses, you lose five malaise. So if we could also buy the cough syrup, which <coughs> maybe that would be nice for me too, uh, we'd be able to get down to a low enough level that I'd be, I'd be pretty happy. Might be able to clear it entirely, but it's close. Meat skewer. Well, it's better, except it's not. It's better until it's not. I also don't really like the... I don't really like the... Uh, teleport item that we were just having a second ago, but I might go back for it. It is legendary. The only legendary effect that it does is it creates... It creates a uh, toxic cloud, which is not very meaningful, but I guess we could still take it. <clears throat> There's gonna be another combat room, but let's do this one. We don't need to save both. You know, on the off chance that we actually do find a... Oh, it's just so, it's so good for killing the grenades, you know? Uh, on the off chance that we find a cursed chest, we only need the one door that we already passed by, so we should be okay. Doo -doo -doo, doo -doo. Oh, dude, this feels so nice. It's It just is solid, you know? Oh, I don't want that at all, no! 10 grand, no. The last time I took one of those, I died, by the way. I did die to a bug. I believe it was a legitimate gameplay bug, though. Um, but I still died the last time I took one of those cursed artifacts. They need to they need to give you, like, 100 grand. It, it has to be like a Philosopher's Stone. That's 75,000 for free. Where's my money? Ooh, Mimic! We'll, uh, we'll definitely check that out. Nah. I would love if there was a weapon shop and we can get a high quality weapon, something that we could use for the rest of the run at this point. Because I need a new weapon. Nah, I'm okay. As mentioned, I died last time I took the damn freaking crystal artifact or whatever it's called, cursed artifact. It's it's just not worth it. How often do you really need 10 grand? Usually you have enough money. <clears throat> We are getting to the point where we are just with, like, one hit from the boy's axe and the baseball bat pretty much killing enemies, which is freaking fantastic. Mutt says, I can use 10 grand. You know what? You got a point there. I could also use 10 grand. Right. 
Random weapons. Yes. <clears throat> Shots explode into a toxic cloud. I don't even know if that works with this. Will the shot explode into a toxic cloud when it hits an enemy or when the projectile is destroyed? Because this thing has infinite piercing. Flint doing 17,000 DPS. Very good, very high damage. And it's got that plus 40% built in. I kind of want to just roll baseball bat, but I mean, we could roll Flint. Would I be okay with a level 13 colored flint? I would, I would. What I'm gonna do first though, is I'm going to look at the other shop, see what that was. Also, was there a mimic? Or oh, sorry, was there a cursed chest? There was not. I'm gonna do the door as well, just to see what item is over there. But I'll, I'll probably buy it. I wanna check out the other shop though too. <laughs> Honestly, it's just nice to be able to kill the grenades before they blow up. I don't even have to do anything, I just run by them. It's so satisfying. Oh, you're dead. Dun, 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 dun. So Boo Boo says, internet dying have to go. See you later. See ya, bye. Thirty-six. Solid. I don't think that's the, you know, for the performance of my play, I think it's the performance of having baseball bat build. So let's see, uh... Rebound stone is funny, but not particularly good, although it does have burning oil and rooted targets, but it, I like this legendary split one. I don't like the non-split one. If we're fighting the Watcher, a cannon is very good. Let's see if this is gonna be a mimic. It is. Ow. Even with that, he still hit me a couple of times. So I'll take a level 13 scavenge bombard over the cluster grenade. We actually don't really need the crowd control anymore. We have the crowd control. It's called just running through the enemies. Uh, we we don't need the phaser. I just now remember the name of the item. <laughs> We're looking at the, the icon for it. Technically, it does work pretty well with the baseball bat, and I think it would work with the nutcracker too. You're right, level 11, not 13. I had the, the X's and the I's reversed. Um, I, I, I just, I just don't care. I don't know the use case for this item. I don't really get it. It's just, it's just too bad. We do need to go still look at the other shop, but I wanted to kill you first. There's a couple of enemies there that I missed. I did see those. I am probably not gonna go over there though. Okay, so we know that this is not gonna be a mimic, but the flint is still doing 17,000 DPS. And it's a lot more than the meat skewer's doing. I'm gonna buy it just to hold it. We're gonna reroll a, a little bit. Uh, Bible, Bible's actually not bad. I've gr grown to appreciate this even non-legendary because I think that 5,000 DPS is for the Bible that orbits you, so you can, if you get two Bibles, you're doing about 1500 DPS right there. It's it's pretty okay. And it'll do more damage on Poisoned and Root. We don't poison, but we do Root. We can poison with the Scavenge Bombard, probably. But, I think we're still okay. This is a good boss for it, though, if we really wanted to. Medusa Head, uh, I like it in the backpack. Not really much else. Broadsword, I kind of like. It, it, it is a good amount of damage. All right, well, we got garbage. I think I'm gonna... S I think I'm gonna sell the baseball bat. It's level four. 
It's really hard though, because it is still good. What am I doing? I'm, hold on. You go there, you go there, you get sold, you go there, you go there. But let's upgrade. It's a level freaking 11 flint. That's pretty good. Nope, hold on. You go there, you go there. Well, I think we'll accept what we have. Although, it is tempting to grab the wolf trap. Very useful on the boss, but with the boy's axe in our back pocket, we should be fine. Okay. You know what, hold on, I gotta... I gotta practice my wall runs on this controller. The, the new one, <laughs> the new old one. <laughs> I'm just not getting it right. The food, oh my God. I'm sorry, Dad Vidian, you reminded me. One second too late, <laughs> I forgot about the whole food situation. Ah, oh, that was the other thing that I was gonna do and I just completely forgot about it, whoops. Well. Guess we don't need gastronomy anymore. Uh. <laughs> uh I'm so good at this game. I think I'm not gonna re-roll the flint, I'm just gonna go fight. I am dumb though, I, I will admit, I am a dumb man. Too slow, sorry. Oh, thank you for taking uh, responsibility. Now I don't have to blame myself anymore. Just blame you, Dad. Are you proud of me, Dad? Father! Are you proud of me, Father? I don't know what happened there. I hit the tentacle and I guess it staggered it. Very strange. This seems like a very, like, poor build with the flint. Oh, I didn't hit you. Come on, get hit. Yeah, it's not, like, going fantastically. <laughs> But the cannon is gonna deal with the tentacles while I dodge. Eh. Yeah, the cannon is so good against the tentacles because it almost one-shots them. Depending on your damage bonuses, it can. No! What ha What happened? <laughs> if only I had eaten the food, we would have had a damage bonus and it would have worked. What happened? Mm. I was get I was greedy, I think. I think I I wanted to get the flint shot off. Oh well. No legendaries for us and no passageway to the shrine. No seismic. I I hate seismic. I think seismic is terrible. Not my damage bonus. What game? Mud, what game is that from? I can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember. It's been so long. Bank. We got the money, we can go to the bank. Green Crow, welcome. Lemon, hello. Lemon, are you a Seismic fan? What's so good about Seismic? I don't remember either, says Mud. God, I can't remember. We had this 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 joke between us that I don't remember what game it's from. Actually, is double stagger. Oh, in that case, I definitely hate it. I don't like the stagger mechanic. It interrupts enemy attack patterns too much. Hey, thematically appropriate outfit. I made it up my own orbs. And also what this vault is made out of. 
Like, stagger is just, like, the worst mechanic in this game, I think. Gets me killed more than anything else. Stagger is fun! Yeah, just like biters. Biters are fun, right? Oh, you absolute jerk. Come here. Oh, you're not gonna come here because you are, yeah, crystal. Ooh, that's really nice. I guess what I have to remember with this is that it's still, oh, that's a lot of them. It's still basically one shots with the flint charge. You know what else I'm remembering? Uh, I'm remembering the reason why I don't like Flint non-legendary. The charge up and then the attack out of it, you're animation locked for a second and you gotta stand still to get the charge. So I, I'm not as mobile as I would like. I'm not, I'm not like very explicitly blaming that on taking damage, but it is not helping. It is a very slow weapon. You know, realistically speaking. Um, I mean, these are basically full heals, so not a mimic. I will come back for the cough syrup later, probably. Lemon says, I haven't played Dead Cells in two weeks. I'm officially retired. Yeah, right. See you in five minutes. Lemon says, I like Stagger now after the cursed update. Followed with Kappa, so I know it's not good. Dun -dun. Bank camo is fitting. Now I'm bank camoed and invisible, and now I don't know where I am. Although, wait a minute, can I just use Electrodynamics to kill everything now? Yummo! Well, I could, and if he didn't attack me. They know, they're they're too smart. He's gonna grow, but that's actually good for me. Gonk! I gotta figure out what to do with this build. Like, are we gonna... Are we gonna use Meat Skewer at some point? Or what? Or like, what, 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 what are we doing? What are we doing? Need to get that scroll. Enemies do not like being attacked. I'm not attacking them. I'm just, you know, there's something shocking happening around them and they don't know where it's coming from. Well, I guess they can see the orbs and they're like, hey, there's probably a player there. That would be my guess. That's not gonna get him. He's not teleporting though, which is strange. Now oh, he's teleporting. Yeah, I guess mostly like if you just if you just attack with the flint without charging it, you're still killing everything in one hit. At least with the uh, the quality of flint that we have, right? Oh, I didn't realize that's what you were. Freaking horizontal laser. At least you're not boxed. Ow! Dude, one of these days I'm not gonna charge up the flint and then just take the damage from, from, from Inquisitors or try to recycle food or items. I know that if you, so here's my understanding. We'll, we'll just eat it. If you have a, another button, another hotkey for recycling, you don't have to hold it. You only hold it if it's also assigned to something else. So I, I could change it. I just haven't, because I'm used to it, I think, at this point. Oh, 
Honk. I'll probably go get the cough syrup before I go and get the cursed chests. Well, I don't know. Having slight amounts of enemy spawning in is actually kind of nice. I, I hate when they turn into elites, but... Let's, let's just do it. Lemon says I'm retired. I've been listening to too much classical music instead of gaming. Gaming? I have been playing way too many games. Maybe that's why my controllers keep breaking. Say the stiletto is pretty bad. We have no poison, no bleeding. I'm just gonna recycle this. Yeah, I think we're okay. This is the end, so we're gonna do a an elevator section. Actually, why don't we why don't we go get the cough syrup now? It's it's basically at three. And we know that this is not gonna be a mimic. We've already checked. That's why I like doing that bottom floor first. I know that um I think I've seen Lydia skip it all like all the time when she comes here. She does it last if she does it at all, but I like clearing that out, because if you need the heals, you've got them. It's also nice just to be able to identify whether or not that's going to be the Mimic, right? Okay. We got to be a little careful here, because we are still cursed. Funny to me that the enemies don't seem to mind you being here. There we go. No. Dun, 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 dun. But Catalyst? I guess Catalyst would enable it, but it's already like a third the damage of the Flint. The Flint's kind of getting me killed sometimes, but. I'm I'm learning how to adjust my playstyle. We were just we were using a fast weapon, now we're not using a fast weapon. You know, we do have to adjust a little bit. And we're gonna take this. 21. Seems like a pretty good scroll count, I think. I don't know, I I never know. <laughs> I need I need a cheat sheet. I need like a, a notepad document on my other monitor that's like when you, when you fight the first boss, you want to have this many scrolls. This is good. This is not. It feels good though, and that's the most important thing, right? Level 11, and there's gonna be a mimic. What do we want? Well, I think, I think eventually we're gonna want support. We're gonna want to replace Damned Vigor with support. I still like gas for the damage for the next floor. Recycling on the next floor, which I forgot to do earlier. Uh, we don't need any of these. You know, indulgence is not bad. Uh, I've, I've grown to appreciate it. It's like a little mini giant fist. It does a ton of damage. Here's your curse. Cooldown's actually not bad as well. 10 seconds. 10 seconds to do... 16,000, 20,000 damage. Really, the the idea with that weapon is that it will kill an enemy for you. It will kill an enemy that's ideally big, nasty, and kind of annoying. Well, I teleported one too many times, but that's okay. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> I'm stuck. <laughs> oh, there we go. I hope I don't break the game, clip out of the elevator, get outside of the map, and then can't move. That'd be great. Oh, 
Hold on. No. Donk. This is gonna cause some issues. Well, not really. Man, it's, it's, like, it's just so good having electrodynamics just to break the grenades. It's so nice. Like, even if that's all it's doing, like, that's good enough. Um, well, that's not where I meant to place that, but that's okay. Am I also crazy for liking this part where you do the jumping puzzle? I like getting free loot, I guess. I'm very much a fan of, oh, I just have to do the platforming I've been doing and I get like, you know, 5,000 gold and free items. Oh, well, don't mind if I already did. And we're done. It's good, good platforming practice too, honestly. <sighs> Tornado, huh? Tornado. Tornado. How about Tornado? No. <laughs> Why has this run been so easy? Like it's felt really solid so far. I mean, well, if we take indulgence, we do have to get rid of the turret. What's the turret? Level level 11? This is level 9 gear? Well... Uh, it's tough, because... What's the damage of the cannon? 13 is... 1300 is really low, and 5000 DPS is really high. It doesn't fire three times a second. So what's what's the actual damage of the cannonball? Both the cannon and indulgence stagger enemies. It will cause enemies to change their attack patterns. At least with the cannon, we do have the ability to take support and then get flat damage bonuses that scale multiplicatively with DOTs. So it's going to make electrodynamics damage like 60, 70% higher. On its, on its own, that's not a lot, but... Support doesn't really revolve around the DOTs that much, but... Do -do 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 -do. 1100 damage, 0 0.2 seconds. Does this thing really take five seconds between hits? That doesn't seem right. Cannon that poisons. Like, it's funny, I don't really even want to buy these, because we, even if it's a mimic, we already have that level of cannon. <laughs> like, what do we care? I guess we could get the one that poisons and then, you know, get poison damage bonus at some point. Does Flint have that? Nope. Electro? Nope. Alright, so, fantastic. Uh, I guess we'll just... I guess we'll just reroll. Try to look for something. I do like the Iron Staff. I haven't rolled an Iron Staff run in a while, but it can work very well depending on what you fight. Medusa Head, we could put that in the backpack. Horrible Objects, good stun. Again, it's not really what I'm looking for. You know what, this is a higher level Flint. Well, okay, I basically did nothing there. So we'll take a higher level flint. The damage is a little bit lower, but if we re-roll it and then get d better damage modifiers, it'll probably be worth it. 
And you know what? I am gonna get the poison cannon because it's another, it's another damage source, e.g. the poison. But it's a lower quality cannon. But actually, you know what? The cannon damage doesn't really matter. The, the poison effect probably matters more when we start synergizing with it. Yeah, okay. It's really weird to downgrade, but I think it it does make a small... Oh, it's not a poison cloud, it poisons the enemy, which I, I guess might be better? Because it'll keep it being applied? I didn't even come down here yet, hold on. It's a whole zone I haven't done. Hello, friends! Poor guy. Yeah. All right. One of these days I should really do a support, sorry, not support, survival shield build. Like take what doesn't kill you and spite so all of the parries do more damage, they reflect damage, they're stronger. I generally don't take the shields, but I think it would be good practice to try a shield build one one of these days. Controller disconnected. My controller's not disconnected. Maybe my con... Hold on, okay, unplug it, plug it back in. There we go, ah. Um, Meduzi head. It, uh, yeah, I mean, it spreads oil and it does more damage on root. Put it in the backpack and toss it. Petrifying enemies. I don't understand how the petrification works, really. Like, what is it? Is it is it is it rooting? Is it stunning? Is it freezing? What does it count as? How do bosses get resistance to the Medusa head? Those questions and more on the Price is Right. That was a new controller, but I think it's more my cable. Gotta get a new cable at some point too. Uh, Medusa head. The real question, I guess, is what boss are we fighting? Because if I'm going to fight Scarecrow, I wouldn't mind having access to the meat skewer so that I can get behind him and hit him. Maybe even Clock Boss as well. We could also just fight the Guardian, but I think that it's more fun to fight the other ones. Guardian's easy. Giant is just, you hit his eye and then he dies. So right now we're in uh, the bank because we were going to Slumbering Sanctuary. We're gonna go to, I think, Sepulcher Clock Room. We could go Clock, Clock, Clock. <laughs> Say it correctly. Clock room. We can go to the clock room. Is not. Hold on. Is nothing incentivized? Let me look at the doors, the exit doors here. What do we got? Cavern's not. Clock tower's not. Sepulchre's not. It's very interesting to me that nothing has incentivized biomarkers. I guess because we didn't actually go to the previous incentivized biome, or maybe the bank exits just are a little bit wonky like that. Uh, let's... Let's take the meat skewer, it'll be fun. Part of Bobberich, welcome. How are you doing today, body? Hey, don't forget to recycle the food. Let's go to the clock tower. <laughs> I feel like it's been a while since we've been here. Shields. 
Well, if there's an uh, if there's a time to try the shield build, maybe it's uh, maybe it's now. The assault shield, assault shield plus. The... Ooh, God, I hate these guys. Assault shield plus the... What else did I have that was, like, movement-focused? <laughs> I've already forgotten. Nothing, I guess. I thought I had, like, another movement ability. Oh, it was Meat Skewer, right. Assault shield, Meat Skewer might be the greatest combination in the world. Dodging left, right, and center, nothing can hit you. You can't hit me! Whew. This, uh, it's a bit hard with the... the mortar guys here. They tend to be more problematic than you would expect because you know that that bomb is gonna split, so you gotta get out of the way. But if you're engaging with an enemy, it's like, well, I wanna kill him. If I try to run, he's just gonna hit me. What's the level of equipment here? 10, slightly better. Uh, do actually, you know, Tombstone's pretty good. Get in the backpack. The Tombstone is such a funny weapon to me because the damage is actually so good. 30,000 DPS even on single targets, that's like really solid. How much do you get from these floating clusters of gold, says Seagus Jr. What do, you, what do you mean floating clusters of gold? If you mean my rotating orbs, they don't provide money. Oh, if you meant those, oh, I know what you're talking about. You meant these floating clusters of gold down here. Let's see, 41, or 41, 391. 41, 855, so about 500, 500 bucks. I'm taking the tombstone. Without it being legendary, I don't really care about the, uh, as much, I suppose. Uh, I'll upgrade the boy's axe, too, since we're using it, but... We we long since gave up the baseball bat, haven't seen another one, and so we have not really been... relying on root damage. We're, we're using it for damage sometimes, but just as a range to, like, hey, get out of here. Enemies. Nope. Cells. There's no different color on the background for that cell room, so I always always get it wrong. Connie, you're going to have a good night? Well, have a good night. Enjoy your evening. It is quite late where you are, I believe, so makes sense. Sad to see you go, but I'm happy to watch you leave. I thought I still had the flint. We changed our weapons. I gotta, I gotta handle this a little bit differently. What a, what a, what a timing! Handle it differently. Ugh. <laughs> Get smacked. All right, not gonna be a mimic. We know it's not gonna be a mimic. We'll just, uh, we'll check for items. Nah. Alucard sword. Pretty good. Ooh, yeah. Double damage burning oil, 40% damage on a on the same level tombstone. I'll take it. We need something that produces fire, I think, is next up. The scavenged bombard does burn the ground when destroyed, but it does take 14 seconds to recharge, so it's 14 seconds before we can get the burn. If we're fighting the boss, we're not gonna have, you know, enemies burn, so we need something. Amulet, nothing. We will, oh, we'll keep an eye out though. I 
did not root the enemy I wanted to root. I'm finding it actually to be kind of hard to get my health back when I get hit. I'm attacking at the wrong moment in my... in my tombstone combo. Maybe this desk belonged to the Guardian? Contaminated, executed, 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 day one, day one, day one, day one. And, uh, yep, up here. You don't, ha by the way, the tombstone, it's really good when you can get like a multi-kill with it and get the tombstone effect, but you don't need that. It's a fine enough weapon on its own, just doing damage. It's pretty solid. I like it. I might not find the food on this level, by the way, as well. Uh, tends to be a little tricky to explore the left and right side of every one of these hallways. We found it, though. Which is funny, because I didn't think that we would. There we go. Gold miner, or gold digger. 31,000 DPS. Better damage on root. I guess if we find something that has burning oil, poison, root, any two of those three would possibly do more damage than what we currently have. But I also just like the moveset of the tombstone. What do we got? No cursed chests. Barricade. I, you know, we should probably get a higher level barricade. It's not barricade, but you know, you know what I'm talking about. If we're gonna roll it, let's upgrade it, you know? Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. You know, the wolf trap would enable burning oil. The holy water would as well, actually. And you know what? The holy water damage is surprisingly solid. So it, it would be this enabling fire, which would then be maintained with the spreading oil on electrodynamics, and then tombstone would do double damage. We would lose the cannon, and we won't be able to take support. I do like the damage bonus from support. Also, we're probably going to use the meat skewer anyways, because that was kind of the point of taking this. I think... I think I'll... I'll oh man, I keep buying new things. <laughs> I, think I'll, I think I'll take the holy water. The damage from it is surprisingly solid, and I'm usually happy with it. Let, let's give it a shot here. At least I'll be able to gas for the next floor. Oh, you know what? That's something I never tested. I never tested whether or not gas gives you uh, stacking damage bonuses with DOT. I would assume so because it, it is phrased like it's increasing all damage. Just put it on the ground. Don't want it. Oh. Come on! <laughs> Jump higher and faster. All right, I think we're done, but we'll just get to the teleporter. Uh, get the food and out. I like the build. I think we'll be fine. We just want the meat skewer, and we want to re-roll it into some sort of bonuses. Where 
So that's down here. Bit of a walk to the teleporter, but I'd rather go down than up. Careful. Yeah, we're good. All right, let's see how this works. And I definitely would rather have Electro for the fight. Spreading oil and electrical damage bonuses. Maybe we can reroll Meat Skewer into that. We want to reroll Meat Skewer into anything. Okay, anything more than that. Rooted and poisoned. That that can work. That can work. Well, the poison can't. The root can. <sighs> Try it again. Try it again. Try it again. Well, I can't really spend any more money on that, so we'll just take it. And actually, maybe we don't change the mutations, because what would we take? We don't care about any of this. Support won't do anything. Point Blank won't do anything. Acrobata Pack won't do anything. Combo, I guess. No, we'll, we'll just go. I don't know. I, I have no idea how this will actually function. We'll give it a shot. Should be able to burn this boss, keep him oiled up, keep him in the uh, fire, hopefully. That seems pretty good. Yeah, that seems incredibly solid. Why was the damage so good? <laughs> this is like easy. I thought we were gonna have like a hell of a hard time. I didn't have too many bonus damage applications. I guess it was just, you know, gastronomy. 40% times two and then possibly just making the burn and the fire just crush. Although the meat skewer was done, doing a lot of damage too. Can't complain about the meat skewer damage. All right. Uh, let's go full path if we can. Above average scroll count. I guess we don't have too much health. Four and four is... Four and four is probably about average, I would have to guess. 29 doesn't feel that high, though. Well, I mean, we'll definitely take this. And this opens up support as an amazing take now. We get the poison cloud as well. Yeah, I, I like this. Don't like the biters, but not gonna matter. Castle's cursed. God damn it. <laughs> well, I think we'll still do it. Cause I kinda wanna go full full path on this one. Though I can understand maybe not wanting to, but you know, we've got the uh, cursed vigor mutation still. Let's let's lean into it. I think that 35 scrolls is where you want to be after this floor, before you fight the boss. So I guess 29, 29 feels average. I only got one bonus scroll on the, on the run, I think. Is that a lore room? 35 is very high, really? <laughs> I try to shoot for, you know, no, I try to shoot for 35 by the end of uh, spoiler floor before you fight spoiler boss. I had the bosses wrong. That's where you want to have 35. 35 at the end of this floor would be a hot, would be hot. I was, I was off by one floor in my mental calculation. I apologize. Twenty-six to twenty-eight is average for the boss we just fought. 
or 29. But again, that, that that feels low because I only got one bonus scroll, you know? I don't know. Maybe I got no freaking idea what I'm talking about. You ever think about that? That's me talking to myself. Got him. This is a cursed floor. I should probably be a little bit slower about things, but I'm not. He's coming. Why well, throw that the wrong direction? At least the trap, you know, does good work. And I hear that there is a, uh, a bellboy. Why does it have to be right before the freaking elite? Gotta kill one more enemy. And there's an elite. You know, I can kill you. The the fact that was very scary because the he uh, enemy there uh, started shooting bullets at me, bullets at me, boo doo bullets at me, boo doo bullets at me. I'm actually gonna take this. I'm gonna leave the other amulet, but it's extra stats. I'd like to replace this boy's axe. I think. Lonely's Troll, welcome! How are you doing today? Zerg says, we love free food, got a random coupon for a free pizza, and thought now is the time to get it before the next game that is, says Zerg. Man, I could go for a pizza. I'm with Mud on this one. Pizza! He, uh, he didn't curse me. Why did he not curse me? I think he didn't curse me because Either victims burn when they die or victims remains explode. I think one of those triggered him not to actually curse me on his death. We gotta we gotta we gotta figure this out at some point. Do some tests. Cause if if there's a way that you can engineer that guy not cursing you, man, that's so nice. Maybe the guard who wrote this level letter and didn't survive. So how do you just get a coupon for free pizza? That's like the world's best coupon. Got a four, four scroll amulet, that's a change. So the reason why we got a four scroll amulet is because we, this is a cursed biome. As a result of it being a cursed biome, everything on this level is one higher. That means instead of level 11 amulets, we're getting level 12 amulets and the weapons are gonna be a higher quality as well. That's the, the benefit for the cursed floor, along with higher cursed chest chances. The negative is you've got cursed floors to deal with, so. Try to, we gotta be a little careful with how we maneuver. There's another cursed enemy. Can I get his attention? They don't seem to aggro through walls. They aggro only when you have like platform line of sight, like it's a separate mechanic. They're very loud too, those jerks. Linda! I only have the Switch version of Dead Cells. We'll be waiting ages for this update. <laughs> Sorry. Although, again, consider yourself one of the lucky ones. You don't have to deal with the update. Level 12 equipment too. I would love to find better electrodynamics, I think. Although a 130, sorry, 100, 128,000 damage giant whistle with double damage is also pretty freaking good. But I do like the electrodynamics for the damage over time, the ability to shock things. <laughs> Twenty second cooldown is a, a little, a little much. Hey, we did get a better one. Generic Tim says I restarted on Switch recently after last playing the beta. So much content now. 
I said it before, I'll say it again, I did the same thing when I came back to Dead Cells for like the Queen in the Sea update, I think it was. I restarted a save file because I wanted to see all the new content together and it was a lot of fun. Didn't take as long as I thought to get, you know, up back up to BC5 either, but I had experience with the game. You do like the water pools in here. Ding 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 ding. for the boss. Am I going to use Tombstone? It does do more damage, and it's got the burning oil on it, so I guess we'll probably just use the Tombstone there. Diverse deck may be the best skill in the game, so versatile and colorless. Yeah, I, uh, I don't know if there's a way to nerf it or anything. I kind of don't want him to. It's funny to me because I I think that Barricade is almost useless. I think that Catalyst is almost useless. I think that, well, not Legendary, but. The funny thing is that it's just so good with the Electrodynamics form. The extra damage you get out of it for essentially free is incredible. I'm probably undervaluing it because I don't really take the other forms. Mostly I just use the uh, Electrodynamics form because I like the extra damage. I like, normally it has apply oil, which is a good way of getting oil applied. And the DOT kills a lot of the weak small enemies that you gotta deal with. It's uh, very handy. Now the Indulgence is doing 64,000 damage on a crit, which is pretty nice. Okay, well we lived, thank you damned Vigor. Uh, holy crap. <laughs> Unfortunately, my boy's axe hit the wrong enemy. Oh. No, get out of here. I don't want that to happen again. No curse chest, by the way, so, you know, thank you, game. Did the tombstone have freeze? No, it has a slow down nearby enemies. Most tombstones have that, though. Ugh. Honestly, I'm just gonna use a healing flask at the end of this level. I'll recycle the food for the damage. That's, that's why I don't like the curse mechanic. I don't like the curse mechanic be in this update because Situations like that are surprising, frustrating, and essentially require perfect play for a whole run, which is tedious. But we lived, so who cares? <laughs> we lived, so nobody's opinion matters anymore. We're not done yet, though. We have one more key to get, which is Red door? Yeah, we haven't done red door. Is that not a curse chest? No, nope. no curse chests. I think a guaranteed bonus curse chest might be a little strong, but it would at least be more worth it. So I, I already hear cursed enemies in there. Nothing here is a star affix or anything, so we're just gonna leave. There could be a floor rune over there, but I am not gonna bother. I don't wanna get cursed at the end of the floor and then be cursed when we leave. Why are you playing in custom mode kills the same random games. I don't know what that means. Uh, the reason why I'm playing in custom mode, the only option I have turned on is random outfits. So we're currently the uh, imp gold digger on this floor. When we fight the boss, we'll have another outfit. 
If you mean that messes with the seeds, that's actually not custom mode. That's, um... Go get the... Get the that's the, um... Lore rooms turned on. Lore rooms turned on messes with the seeds. It makes them not work. So if you ever wanted to do a... Seeded run, you gotta turn that option off. Well, when you input the seed, it turns it off on its own, but... If you don't have the option off, then your run would be different from my run right now, because I have the, the lore room still turned on. Because there were new lore rooms added in the, the cursed beta, so I've been I've been looking out for those. I might turn it off again at some point so that we could get seeds working again that people want. Outfit random Ising should be an option in the normal mode. That would be that would be acceptable. But maybe make it so that that wrench only appears when there's like a, a gameplay changing option turned on because randomized outfits is just you know just skins <laughs> it's just pay to win skins um what the hell do we need we don't need anything electrodynamics we could roll into more damage perfect uh so good good Good. We're as ready as we're ever gonna be. We're gonna reset mutations. We are going to take support because it's workable with our turrets now. I think we will take, we have a minute to think now because we're paused technically. I think we'll take disengagement still and then I'll probably just heal before the next floor. You know, we could take Tainted Flask. We won't get extra flasks, but this will be a damage bonus before boss fights. And I'm, I need to heal right now, so we could take this, chug the flask, fight the boss, get a damage bonus. That damage bonus with Gastronomy should be pretty strong. And then actually, why don't we just take Gastronomy for the next floor, and then we'll, we'll get rid of it later. I like it. Don't you think the interface takes up a lot of space? You can change it if you want. Dead Cells is really good about accessibility and configuration. If you wanted to make the in interface invisible, you could. Make it small, make it uh, transparent. The sky's the limit, basically. I like the fact that you can add outlines and make things easier to see. Yeah, that works pretty well. No! He hit in the hit on the way down. Come on! It exploded on the way down. <laughs> you dick! You dick! I I hate those guys so much. Mm. Every freaking time. I was too worried about the the worm and the bombs that he would release on his death, so I just I didn't focus at all on the top guy. I should have just like walked to the side. He would have tell he would have teleported immediately after that attack, and in fact he did teleport immediately after the fact. I think that's why I'm the most pissed. Because I could have just sat there for a second. Ugh. Redo the run. Alt F4 the game. No, force crash it in Windows and then you can just do the fight again. Take two. You absolute jerks. You know, I like that the tombstone, when it hits the dudes with the shields, it kind of looks like it pops off of them for a second. Okay, my attack still went out. That was very weird. That was a very strange one.
Knock it off. No one likes you. I mean, this is this is the reason why I like Electro here, is that you can go so fast. It is killing pretty much everything. Proximity mine grenade. Oh, it's so... <laughs> should've, should've just... Ah! Uh, we already have level 12, except for the flamethrower turret, which is level 11, and we're not getting rid of that. Oh, I, I didn't go back for my third level amulet for survival. I was going to do that because this amulet gave me more health and I wanted the damage up. Oh, that would have made all the difference on that last fight, guys. Instead, I'm going to have to uh, hopefully find an amulet here. At least we get an extra elite, right? This one gives us extra jumps. Actually, did that three level amulet give us extra jumps? Because if it didn't, then it's good that we get, got rid of it. But I don't remember if it did or not. That was last floor. Well, wrong color. Okay, well, we're doing this now. <laughs> Ooh. Little, uh, little rough. We're just gonna, you know, let's just do the tower. Why don't we? Thing. That's why we. That's why we need the extra jumps right there for those types of mistakes. Hey, we killed someone inside of the tower. I usually do a, a very bad job of killing the uh, the enemies when I have like a tombstone or something on the inside. Ooh, wait. wait. You can still move while you're rooted, Mr. Bookman. Dude, that's good fire damage. I feel like the fire damage was way higher than what's listed on the turret. Because it's like per stack, and I don't know how many stacks that thing is actually applying. And it's got burning oil, too. Knock it off. Knock it off! Stop making shields. Twofold, welcome. Hey, Abe, how are you doing? I've been pretty well lately. I'm having fun time on this run. Did a little bit of cleaning earlier this week. We did get an extra flask. What? <laughs> Refill after killing 10 elites. We ki Did we kill 10 elites? I can't believe that pays for itself off color at this point in the game. That's absurd. Did we did we actually kill 10? One, two, three, four right there, and then six? There were not six elites on this floor, were there? That's way that seems way too high. That's crazy. I love that. Tainted flask, is there anything that you can't do? Um. 
I guess we'll recycle the food and then get out of here. There's only two food. Wait, there's a there's a freaking amulet over there. Two in the hand of the king fight. I didn't even think about that. You're absolutely right. That gives us that gives you the edge you need to actually crank it up to uh, to ten by the time you hit this floor. I didn't think about that at all. That's so good. Um, it's uh, essentially the same. That's good to know. It's good to know that that will potentially enable you to get your flask back faster than you think. Normally there's a third food drop somewhere, but I didn't find it, if it exists. Maybe it's just, just a random chance of it spawning, but either way, we have two bonus from the mutation, gastro, and then we'll sell it. Well, not sell, we'll just get rid of the mutation, take a new mutation. I guess we could go for like, I don't know, kill rhythm. I, I don't really, I don't really think we need kill rhythm. What would we, what would we like? You know what? We could take Acrobata Pack. We can just put the uh, the meat skewer away. Then we've got a parry. It's actually, I think, not a bad idea. I don't know if we'll get the four shield, but like what else are we gonna do with our perks? We don't need gastro anymore. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll do it. Uh good, 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 good. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. We will take support. Which is here. We're gonna take Tainted Flask, because it's still a 35% damage bonus, which is more than we're getting anywhere else. And then we'll go for. I mean, with Tombstone, combo's not that good, and this guy has invincibility, so it resets. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think we'll just go for a um, Armadillo pack. Or we could just get more health, but I'm gonna be healing during the fight. I don't care about healing. Yeah, we'll just do an Armadillo pack. It's not for damage, it's just for, I guess, some protection. If he does the spinning attack, this will knock him out of it, which is nice. And ideally, if we get the shield, that would be great for when he's doing the pokes, but I've got three jumps, so we should be fine there. I think we get like three seconds of the bonus when you heal before the fight, but... I want to burst him down on his first phase here as quickly as I can. Heal up. Okay, when you throw me into <laughs> the freaking bombs, that's a bit rude. Dude, this guy is screwed. That was a fantastic fight. Absolutely killer. Flamethrower turret doing such a good, solid amount of damage there. And uh, all the damage bonuses we had made that damage over time just crush him, I think. It would have been flawless if he didn't knock me into the grenades when he did the uh, the earthquake attack there, but hey, it's still solid. Mother of Zerg says pizza obtained. You gonna share? I hope you're gonna share. Trying to skip the cutscene there. Fun run. 
Good damage at the end. That's why you want to stack up gastronomy beforehand, swap it out. You don't need to keep the mutation to keep the damage. Support. Just amped the damage of the of the turret even more. And you have to remember that those types of damage upgrades get applied twice to burn, to bleed, to the electricity damage. Because when it says plus 50% damage, the burn damage that's applied is buffed 50%. And then every time it ticks, it's also buffed 50%. So it's 50% squared, 1.5 squared. You're getting 2.25 times damage bonus on top of that. And then you add another stack on top of it. You get even more, add another stack, you get even more. Support in two gastronomy was like 40%, 40%, and 40% on top of each other. You can run the math on that one. That's a solid amount of damage bonuses that we were getting. And of course we were smacking him too, but that's why the DOT is so effective. Fun run. And for those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you've enjoyed it, subscribe for more. Check me out on Twitch for when I go live. Support the channel at any of the links below in the video description. And I hope to see you here again for the next run of Dead Cells.